So I want to talk about apathy in college and in life. You see this a lot in life where people just don't want to do anything and they're like, I don't really care about anything. And um, I think that this is a real problem. However, I'm going to tell you, not my problem. So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Maslach. I'm an associate professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship. And I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There's so many people to help me out that I want to pay the favor for to help you out. So apathy is that sort of, um, you know, those actions where people are just un unwilling to do anything or they just don't want to do anything. They don't see any sort of feeling or they don't experience anything that they actually really want to do. And um, they're so wrapped up in what's going on around them that they really do not care about the rest of the world. And you see this a lot in college and university. You see this a lot in life. Many people, most people in this world live life, their entire life, not really caring about everything else around them. They don't sort of have that fire in their belly, that sort of gumption or um, go-getterness or whatever you want to call it, where they're going to go do something and they're going to love that particular thing. They just don't have that fire in their belly. Now, there is a lot of people that um, that's just who they are. There is, that's their experience that they've had in life, um, that they have experienced a lot of different things. Um, it's, it's their, you know, it's, it's who they are, right? It's sort of their, their personality and um, it's part of what they are about. However, um, there's a lot of people that probably do change and they have some apathy for a while and then they flip it around. Now, I think it's incredibly important to remember, for me, I only live one life. And if you only think about that for a moment, that you could die in the next year, that think something can change around you that is gonna completely put you in a much worse spot, why wouldn't you just keep going and keep pushing towards the thing that you want to do? And why wouldn't you just be inspired by the things that are going around you, going on around you? There's so much in this world that can do, um, that you can do, and that you can just be fired up every day. And, and I think like that, where I've looked around and I've said, you know what, like, it's endless what you can do and 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 you know why wouldn't you push to the point moment of like when you actually sort of are gone right like there's so much in this world that we can possibly do and if you just keep moving towards that you can you can like overturn so much and you might be looking at me as like oh he's this professor person you have no idea who i am and where i came from and what i'm about like I was in special ed until I was in grade five. Um, you know, I was the first one to go to way to, to university, my entire family. Um, like, there was so much in terms of moving up. Um, my, my parents raised us extremely well, and I'm very happy that, that we had the, the parents that we did. They're very level-headed. Um, they, they, you know, sort of demonstrated that there was really you know, money and success and all that kind of stuff doesn't matter. But what matters is you just get up and keep go doing things. Like my, my, both my parents, they just were always doing things when I was growing up. Um, and, you know, if you know that, that you don't really need a lot, but you just keep doing those particular things, um, fiddling around with stuff, you can accomplish just a tremendous amount in your lifetime. And so why wouldn't you just encourage that and, and look at that sort of fire in your belly. Now, I think an, a, a really big important part of why apathy is existing today, um, and I think it's existed always, right? I don't think that this is any different, this generation, any other generation is different than anybody else. Um, so those are my doggies, they're, they're wrestling right now. So um, we're no different at this moment than any other generation. And we have a lot of apathy that happens. But what you remember, or what you need to think about is you need to get incentives and challenges to sort of get going, right? So one of them could be, I, I learned about this recently, this clawback incentive where you get something up front and then if you don't, uh, 
if if you don't perform under you know the set expectations that, that you remove that particular incentive or you could do commitment order commitment contracts where if you don't do this thing then you lose something right um, and so you think about all these sort of tricks that you might end up doing and thinking about and you look for ways that you can incentivize to have challenges and problems right one thing that you could do and i think particularly for younger folks is that i mean parents are way too easy on their kids like um i'm gentle and nice to my kids but at the same time if they need to go do something and they need to like we need to them to push towards something we're gonna push them and i think we need to encourage that a lot more like if you're still living at home when you're 20 years old and you know you're living under your parents roof unless there's something going on um, in your life i think you should encourage you should think about moving out and you should live on your own and and do things where it's just you and it's up to you i think like having that that gumption where it's just you and it's up to you and you have to solve this problem and it's you're the only one that's actually experiencing this at this moment and you're going to grow up in a hurry um, and that's really what this is you realize like if i don't do this if it's not on me then who the heck is going to do it and then you you are you're stuck if you don't do that so you have to figure out how to get some problems in your life and figure out how to get incentives in your life so the last thing i want to talk about is you know, I do see a lot of empathy all the time. Um, that's a super big thing, you know, like like where, you know, you do see a lot of um, students around that are just completely apathetic. But what do you do, right? I can be stressed out all my life and I could say, hey, look at all this unwasted, look at all this potential that we're wasting where people are kind of like goofing off and things like that. And I could be really, really upset about it. However, it's not my problem. I got to figure out where the problems that I have are my problems and everything else around me, it's somebody else's problem. It's their problem. Once they figure out it's their responsibility that they need to turn themselves around, which if they're given enough problems and they're given enough incentives and that is going to happen and they're going to keep working at it and keep pushing at it and keep going every day, then thing, good things are gonna happen in their life. But, you know, if it's up to me, I can't change it. I can't change who they are. They have to get to a moment where they're just, you know what, I'm gonna grow up and I'm gonna realize that this is my problem and I need to make the changes in my life to do some really good things. But there's nothing that I can personally, so me, me, like, you know, um, Professor Dave here, um, I can't change that. There's nothing I could do. I could put out as many YouTube videos. Nobody's ever gonna watch these things. Who cares? Um, you know, you might wanna get them to watch this. Nobody's gonna do anything at all, right? Like nothing until they figure it out on their own and they're gonna pick it up and they're gonna watch this. They're gonna watch it at three in the morning. They're gonna say, why does my life suck? And when that happens, that's when good things happen, right? That's when you actually change yourself around. It's like. Alcoholics Anonymous, right? You can't change somebody by taking them to Alcoholics Anonymous. You can't change who they are. They have to be willing to actually change themselves. And they have to sort of say, hey, I don't know everything. Why is it that everybody else around me is thinking like this? And why do I feel like such a wreck all the time? Why am I a disaster? all the time why is it deep down inside i actually don't feel like I'm, I'm a good person like there's nothing it's not working inside and when they get to that moment they switch it around and they look at what how to actually do this they're going to start looking for solutions in their life that's it that's really what it is you have to come to terms with you if you're a parent or you're a professor or a teacher or whatever you can't fix it they need to fix it themselves. And once they figure that out, then good things are actually gonna happen. So you can sit there and you can talk to them and do all this kind of stuff. Nothing is gonna happen until they figure it out themselves. All right, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.